Hey everybody, Lydia Fiedler here for Picket Fence Studios, and I'm going to show you a very quick and easy technique for getting two cards out of one effort with a stencil. Now I am using Picket Fence Studios Geo Pineapple stencil, and I have it taped to a piece of watercolor paper. And this stencil features two different pineapple designs that you can use separately. I am using several colors of Paper Artsy Infusions, which are just phenomenal powdered watercolors. I love the heaviness of the crystal. It doesn't fly around when you use it. But the really unique thing about Paper Artsy Infusions is the walnut crystals that are in each color that they make. These are little brown dye crystals that add a warmth and an interest to every one of these shades, and I just can't say enough good things about them. Now, it's good to have an assistant nearby when you use powdered watercolor. I have my assistant, Maddie, who loves to hold my hand and sit on my lap while I'm making videos, doing Facebook Lives, or attending the Zooms that we're all attending. She has to be a part of every one of my on-camera efforts. Once I've sprinkled the crystals, oops, and I had a little fish stencil stuck in there, I then just activate them with water. And I've used several shades, I'll list them all here under the video, to give sort of a mixed look. Warm yellows on the pineapple and then a mixture of cool and warm greens for the stem. Now I'm being extra careful to remove the tape and the stencil from the watercolor paper, and you'll see why I'm being so careful in just a minute. Now the tape is also attached to the back of the watercolor paper to hold those two together. It's just blue painter's tape. So I will put the stencil back down and let you get a look at this beautiful variegated effect that you get with the watercolor. You can see that I deliberately left that right side open so that I would get a coordinated stripe of color, green on the top and yellow on the bottom, just to match the detail in the pineapple. But you can see here what I mean with the walnut crystals, and they add these dark little spots all over the pineapple image, no matter what color I'm using. And it's just a beautiful level of detail that you can't really get with a medium that just has a single color. I think they're just beautiful. Here's what the jars look like. This is Green Man. That's one of the colors that I used up top on the leaves. And you can see how each of those colors sort of merge into each other when you're done. Now here where the tape was at the bottom, I'm going to add more of the same color that I used on the pineapple and sprinkle it directly onto the stencil and activate it with water. Then I'll take a second piece of watercolor paper and press that into the wet watercolor that is still on my stencil. This is a very simple mono printing technique that lets you get a second look from your same first effort. I love techniques that result in two cards. What's cool about this is it's the opposite of what you saw on the first one. So in the first, everything that was positive is now negative in the second print, and everything that was negative space is now positive, and that's how you see the watercolor come through the design. So it really lets you turn your stencil into two different tools, which is just so fascinating and fun. The more messy look around the pineapple is also a stylistic difference from the one on the left that was slightly neater and just captured the image that the stencil is meant to show. Very fun and addicting technique, and I hope you try it, and I hope you enjoy it. Here are the finished cards. All supplies are listed below, and thank you so much for watching.